I think when it comes to TNA, there's two elements at play. Really is. There's a fascination and there's a frustration. First, we get to the fascination with TNA. I think a lot of that fascination with TNA over the years has been due in large part to the fact that a lot of wrestling fans yearn for the days where there was more than one viable, big-time, mainstream wrestling option available to them. They miss those days where if one company didn't give them something, the other company probably was going to. They had options, you had choice, you had variety, and that those companies being in the same field tend to go neck and neck with each other, toe to toe with each other, made the product better on all sides and made it a great time for wrestling fans. A lot of those same fans understand just how dangerous it's been since 2001 that for all intents and purposes, WWE has really only been the show in town. They've, that's it. Really, I mean, if we're truly being honest, when it comes to Main Street professional wrestling in the U.S., it's WWE, and that is it. So there's always been a bit of a fascination there with TNA because a lot of fans, even if they don't like TNA, even if they don't believe in its vision or its direction or the way the company's run, the talents, what have you, the writing, the creative... There's always been that deep-seated fascination with them hoping that they become that number two option because it becomes a better place for the wrestlers. It becomes a better place for the fans. It becomes a better place for the business, period, because now you have more than one viable mainstream option. It gets better for all parties involved. Competition is a great thing, and most certainly we see in professional wrestling just how good of a thing it can be and how bad a lack of competition can be. So there's always been a fascination, I think, in part with TNA because a lot of people have viewed that as the company that had the best chance post-WCW to be that mainstream option. I mean, let's be serious here. What are the other options outside of TNA? ROH started in 2002, and 13 years later, they're a part of Sinclair. And how has that really worked out for them? And they're a niche product at that. They're never going to be a big-time mainstream company. That's not their aim. That's not their goal. And they're most certainly not heading in that direction. What are you going to talk about, GFW? Hopefully fans will eventually realize that it's global farce wrestling, not global force wrestling. You know, you're talking about Jeff Jarrett being involved. Whoop-dee-doo. It becomes a Jeff Jarrett vanity project and nothing else. I mean, one of their big announcements is that Chael Sonnen is going to be a part of their commentary team. If we're being perfectly honest here, when it comes to wrestling commentary, I am every bit as qualified, if not more so, than Chael Sonnen to be a wrestling commentator. So why would a GFW not come knocking at the door of me or any other, frankly, wrestling fan? I mean, what else? You got New Japan? You know, newsflash, other than the hardest of hardcore wrestling fans in the States, most people don't know about New Japan Pro Wrestling in terms of wrestling fans, and most people don't give two shits about it. That's just the truth of the matter. TNA has always been viewed, I think, in a lot of ways, and understandably so, and rightfully so, as that best chance for romance with a number two wrestling company. But there's also been that great frustration with them, because you've been waiting for 13 years for this shit to happen. It's never happened in a lot of ways, and it doesn't look like it's ever going to happen. Here's a company that, over the years, can't seem to ever figure it out, can't ever seem to really carve out their own niche, can't ever really seem to stop being anything other than their own worst enemy. Terrible decisions, poor management, you know, you name it, TNA has been a party to all of it. And I could see how incredibly frustrating it is, because I've felt that frustration this company, yeah, it might in theory by default have been the number two company in the U.S. for a long period of time in terms of mainstream U.S. wrestling, but that's really not saying that much. You know, 15 years ago when you're talking about the second company was still doing four to five million viewers every single week, the Impact Wrestling on Thursday nights with availability of up to 100 million homes on Spike TV is lucky to draw one to 1.1 million viewers. And there's a lot of frustration there, and I understand why a lot of fans have turned against TNA and are mad at TNA and angry at TNA because there was that fascination there with them that they could be something, that they could have been so much more than what they ultimately ended up being. And it's pissed off a lot of people, and a lot of people that they could have brought into the fold that could have really given that company a chance, the company themselves, because of their actions and what they've decided to do over the years, has turned a lot of those people away. You know, look at me, somebody that was off and on, always a TNA fan, but I was there at the very beginning. I was there getting those weekly pay-per-views. 
no matter how god awful they were at the very beginning because i understood the need for a tna i had that fascination with them but now it's pretty much all frustration hence why i don't watch them and i don't review their shows and i barely if ever talk about them but now we've gotten to a different fascination with tna and frankly that fascination is born out of frustration with the company and it's really been around for years and it's this fascination of not if TNA is having trouble or if TNA is going to die. It's when TNA is going to die, how soon and how glorious it is going to be. And, you know, I have to say I've been a party to that in the past, talking about, you know, if they do this and continue to do this, it's going to be bad and eventually this company is going to die and it wouldn't surprise me if they do it in this time and that time and that time. I understand it and I get it because, again, I've been a party to it. But at some point in time, is it really necessary at some point in time, is it really all that productive? Can we just stop with the TNA death talk already? I mean, seriously. You know, because you got a couple of different angles on this. Number one, it's the people that have never even really fouled or checked out TNA that are saying that shit to begin with. Well, what does it really affect them? And who the hell cares, frankly, what they think? Then you've got those that are just WWE fans that are saying that. And frankly, the WWE, from a creative standpoint, has enough problems of their own. Why don't you worry about that product and worry about reasons why you would even bother to continue watching that crap on a week-in, week-out basis? And as far as TNA goes, if you're a WWE fan, you probably should have your head in the clouds enough if you don't like TNA to where TNA is such a blip on the radar and such an afterthought that they shouldn't even matter. Those three letters shouldn't even come out of your mouths. Hey, if we're being really honest, WWE gets three hours of Monday night prime time, 8 to 11 Eastern television, plus run over on the USA Network. TNA gets two hours every Friday night in prime time on Destination America a second-rate premium cable channel that people would have to fork over a lot of additional money for, in most cases myself included, in order to get it included in their television packages to be able to watch Impact each and every single week. Frankly, you don't even, and if you don't have the channel, you don't have the package to be able to carry it, Impact Wrestling shouldn't even be a thought in your mind anymore. TNA should be an afterthought unless you're seeing it on the Internet in terms of stories on the, the Chop Shop dirt sheets. Because the show won't even exist to you. Because you won't be able to watch it. You won't even be able to accidentally see clips of it. They don't even have Spike TV anymore. Who cares? But I see the recent reports that apparently TNA has canceled their trip to China. That was never officially announced anyways. And people are talking about more frustration within the company. And you know, talking about they feel like it's not a matter of if but when and how soon. And this company is on life support and this and that. And you know, it's kind of one of these things. If we always cry wolf. You know, you stop being taken seriously after a certain point in time. Now, I'm not here to sit there and say that TNA won't die at some point. There's a lot of things pointing to that that could happen. There's been a lot of things, frankly, pointing to that could happen since 2002. And yet, somehow, despite all blowing in the face of logic and everything else, the company still exists almost 13 years later. You know, yeah, there's a lot of not good things happening. They've lost a lot of talent. There's a lot of bad things. The company's still around. Now, is that going to continue? I don't know. But frankly, at this point in time, who fucking cares? I'm getting tired of seeing it, getting tired of reading about it, getting tired of hearing about it. If it happens, it happens. Fuck. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's getting to the point where now we've gone from a fascination with the company to a frustration with it to a fascination of when it might die. Like, this fascination is something good. You know, even if they never really stepped out of the plate and became that number two mainstream wrestling company here in the U.S., a TNA dying still ultimately isn't a good thing. It's one less opportunity for a lot of men and women in the business. It's one less potential option for you as a wrestling fan. It's one less place for people to go and ply their craft and learn before they actually do hit the mainstream. Not that WWE wants most of the people involved in TNA, and frankly, who could blame them? I just don't get the fascination with it anymore. I know at one point in time I was kind of fascinated with it too. But I guess in a way I kind of got over and got a life. Yeah, I don't watch TNA anymore. I don't support them anymore. I don't particularly care about them anymore. 
but I also don't sit there and worry myself about whether or not the company is going to go away or the company is going to fold or the company is going to die. Who cares? If it happens, it happens. And it's a shame if it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You don't like them, well, then don't fucking watch anyways because you already were to begin with. Who cares? I just wish all this TNA is going to die talk would go away. You know, wrestling business is in a bad enough state as it is right now, period. Do we need anything more to throw onto the flames and stoke the fire? I really don't think we do. This is not meant to be some big TNA defense beef because, frankly, if they do die at some point in time, they will have nobody to blame but themselves, and they will have ultimately um, earned it. They really will have. Their chickens will have come home to roost. And I will, unfortunately, feel absolutely no sympathy for the company and the decision makers and the powers that be involved with that company because they will have ultimately gotten their comeuppance and gotten what they deserved. But I'm also not going to see her, sit here and actively root for it. And it seems like now there is a fascination that's growing with when this company is going to die. It's almost like we're going to have a TNA death pool at some point in time. You know, I'm going to take September 15th, 2015. I'll take January 3rd, 2016. Arr, arr, arr. Nah, get over it. If you like TNA, then don't get all butthurt about people talking about it. Just fucking ignore it. Live in your own universe. And if you're a WWE fan and you don't even watch TNA and you don't like TNA, then stop fucking talking about them. Who cares? Why are they even a bother to you anymore? Why does it even matter at this point in time? Because in your world, TNA shouldn't matter. And frankly, in a lot of ways, TNA in a lot of ways doesn't matter. So everybody get over themselves. Can we just, once and for all, stop the TNA death talk, please? We've been there. We've done it for years. It's old hat. It's played out. Let's find something else to talk about.